Hey Han, I'm Chloe and this is the Side Climb Tutorial. My mission here is to share my passion for pole dancing and make pole dancing easy to learn and accessible. This is the 36th video of the Beginner Pole Trick Tutorial series. In order to maximize your training out of all the videos, I highly recommend you to start from the very first video of this playlist as the tricks will be a progression of the video before. The side climb is a beautiful trick. It's a new entry for you to try aside from the spinning climb, so we shall try it today. This video is mirrored for your ease of learning. I'll also have a red wristband on my right wrist and my right ankle to indicate the right side of my body if you do get confused of the directions. This trick tutorial is created for you for informational and educational purposes only and for you to enjoy learning pole dancing from the comfort of your own home. Please participate at your own risk and don't work beyond your capability and seek help or spotting when necessary. For any health concerns, please seek professional medical advice. Please also you make sure you warm up your body before you start this trick tutorial. I have a warm up playlist depending on your level under the playlist warm up so that you can try it before you do the trick. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up so that I know to create more of these kinds of videos and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't yet so that you are notified every single week I upload a tutorial. If you are looking to further your pole journey in combining tricks and dance together, then consider signing up for my online learning platform, Pole Art Ball, where we put tricks and dance together into a combo and learning an entire routine with tricks and dance together. You can find the link in the description below for further information. Alrighty, without further ado, let's get into the side climb tutorial. Alrighty, now let's get into our conditioning. For our conditioning today, we are going to do our half bracket knee tucks. So, we are going to come onto our toes on the left side of the pole. From here, we're gonna start coming into our half bracket grip. So inside hand nice and high, outside hand comes across your tummy, making sure that you squeeze your armpit in, creating that 90 degree angle with your outside hand. From here, you're gonna pull in your top arm, push away with your bottom arm, tucking your knee towards your chest. Now, when you're tucking your knees, try not to lean forward um, and then try to keep your posture nice and upright and think about bringing your knee towards your chest as much as you can. If you can lift your leg off a teeny bit, that is totally fine. All right, let's try five on each side. We've done one so far. And four, three, two, and last one. Well done. Let's try on the other side. Alrighty, you're gonna come onto your toes, inside and up, outside and across, comes across your tummy, squeezing your armpit in. Pull in your top arm, push away with your bottom arm, tucking your knees. Good, and four, three, two, and last one. Well done. There is your conditioning done. Alrighty, now let's get into our side climb. With our side climb, you can either take it as a trick side climb, or you can also take it as a way of climbing. So another alternative to sort of like a spinning climb. Meaning we're gonna try two entries today, either just do you, doing your side climb up, or coming into a regular sort of spinning climb ankle lock together and then into a side climb. So this is what a side climb looks like. So there is your first entry. Now this is your second entry into a side climb. Alrighty, so let's break the side climb down. Now, as I mentioned before, this is very similar to a spinning climb, which is sort of an entry into any sort of tricks that you can go 
above from that. However, this one, instead of locking your knee onto the pole or knee on both sides of the pole, we're getting both of our knee on the same side of the pole. So let's just uh, sort of rehash how we did our spinning climb. So with our spinning climb, inside leg comes behind the pole and then ankle behind the pole. And then you're gonna get your outside leg or outside ankle in front of the pole and then you're gonna squeeze the pole with both of your knees. This is your spinning climb position. Now, instead of that, with our side climb, from here, you're going to bring your inside leg around onto the same side of the pole as your outside leg and we are holding here. So you're still squeezing with both of your ankles or almost sort of like the side of your shin here and then you're going to push your pelvis forward and this is your side climb positioning in terms of your leg. Now let's just try that on the other side as well so that you can familiarize yourself with the positioning. So again, you're gonna get your outside ankle in front of the pole, knee off the pole. You're gonna get your inside ankle behind or almost sort of like your side of your shin. And then from here, you're gonna push your pelvis forward, turn your chest away, and there is your side climb. So, let's try this doing this aerially. Now again, when we're doing this aerially, rather than getting your knee onto both sides, that means you have to keep your knees together. So focusing on your knees glued together and then your outside leg in front of your inside. So, inside hand up outside hand comes across. Now from here, you're going to get your outside leg in front, inside leg behind, and then you are in your side climb. Now, when we are doing this one, I'm going to give you uh, sort of two different options. If you are going to climb the pole once, I want you to make sure that your inside end is on top and outside and across and then there's your side climb. So you don't have to swap your hand or anything. This is your side climb position. So inside hand is always up and then you're just gonna get your outside leg in front and there's your side climb. Now, if you are planning to climb the pole, not just that once, but twice, then that means you wanna make sure that you keep your outside hand on top and inside hand on the bottom so that once you get to the top, you don't have to swap your hand. Now you can apply this for when you do your spinning climb as well. So just a food for thought so that you don't have to swap your hand when you're coming to the top. This is what I mean. So we're gonna come outside and on top, inside into your forearm, and then you're going to tuck your knee up to here and then from here pushing your pelvis forward swap your hand and then we are in our side climb so make sure you're pushing your pelvis forward and you can come down now if you started with your inside and on top and then we come up into a climb then that means that you have to swap your hand when you get to the top so I'll show you an example so if I start here I bend my knee, bring my ankle a little higher this time. I have to swap my hand here and it doesn't look as sort of cohesive. So in order to mitigate that, we are going to start with our outside hand on top. So when you're doing any sort of climbs, just make sure that you keep in mind if you're going to climb once or twice or not. And then that way you can sort of reverse calculate if you want to start with your outside hand on top or inside hand on top. So again, if you're starting on the floor and you just want to stay in that position, then you can always just start with your inside hand on top. So you tuck your knee in, but then you just slide your leg down, extending your legs, and then you're already in your side climb. If you're gonna go up, then this time around, outside hand on top, and then from there, you're gonna bend your, bend your knees, and then glue your ankle where it is, and then from here, you're gonna push up, thrusting your hip, and then you can come into your side climb all the way up. Now, that means that if you're gonna climb 
if you, especially if you have a tall pole, if you're gonna climb maybe uh, twice, three times, then again, that means you're gonna start off with your half bracket, so inside and on top, so that once you climb second time, we end up here, and then the third climb, we are here, so that you don't have to swap your hand. Food for thought. All right, now, let's try that on the other side as well. Now, you can either climb once or twice. Again, this is really gonna depend on how much height you have, especially for those that have really short poles, you might just wanna start off with your half bracket grip. Whatever works for you. So if you're gonna start off with your outside and on top, then make sure that you start with your forearm grip um, because that is much easier. Otherwise, I mean, you can start off with your um, half bracket, but like spinning backwards, if that makes sense. But you can try either or. I'm just gonna start in my half bracket, so just on the floor. So we're gonna start off with our inside and on top, outside and across into your half bracket. From here, you're gonna get your outside ankle in front. So you're tucking your knees, outside ankle in front, thrusting your hip as you slide your ankle out. And then we are in our side climb. And there you have it. There is your side climb entry. Now, if you wanna try this from a spinning climb, again, that means if you're gonna climb once, then we're gonna start off with our outside hand on top, inside hand either on your forearm or outside hand half bracket and then pushing away with your outside hand. Now, I'm just gonna do forearm grip because for me, I think it's just an easier way to climb. So outside hand on top, inside hand onto your forearm, we're gonna come into one spinning climb. From here, you're gonna push your pelvis all the way towards the pole, swapping your hand into a half racket. You're gonna get your knee onto the other side of the pole. And then there you have it. There is your side climb from a spinning climb. Let's try this on the other side. So you're gonna start coming into a spinning climb. So outside hand on top, inside hand onto your forearm or half racket. Once you come all the way up, swapping your head, thrusting your hip into your side climb. And there you have it. There is your side climb from a spinning climb. Well done. Now let's go through some tips and common mistakes. Common mistake number one, not thrusting your hip enough. Now, let's just go through the hip thrust because sometimes this is I would say a lot of the sort of pain points when it comes to a lot of the tricks. Now, the reason why we tend to not want to thrust is because naturally as human beings, when we are scared, we always want to sort of hunch. This is sort of our coping mechanism, or I should say that's just how we sort of protect ourselves. Now, when we start hunching, that means that we're pushing our hip backwards. So that's the reason why we always tend to not thrust from our hips because it is our sort of natural instinct to want to sort of like uh, lean back or sort of like hunch. So when we are coming into a side climb, making sure that once we come in position that we thrust our hip all the way. So think about almost if I'm looking from the side that I'm passing the pole. The more your hip thrust, the more grip you'll get in your ankles and also your inner part of your, uh, not thigh, uh, your shin. So just making sure that you really hip thrust so that you get all the maximum grip that you can get. Now, other thing is making sure that your knees are on the same side of the pole. Again, with your side climb, this is separate to a spinning climb where your knees are on others, each side of the pole. This time around, you have to make sure that your knees are on the same side of the pole. So going into sort of like our next step, so flowing into it, you just wanna make sure that your outside ankle is always outside or in front of the pole. So remember that your outside leg is always the same hand as your outside push half bracket grip. So if we're in a half bracket grip, it's this bent arm that is your outside. So left hand, left ankle in front. Right hand half bracket, right ankle in front. So making sure that you're pushing into the ankle and your leg behind, it's almost rather, I mean, depending on your anatomy, it might be like pushing into your ankle, but rather your sort of outer part of this leg. 
So just making sure that you squeeze into that leg and making sure that your knees are on the same side of the pole. Squeeze your knees together and your ankles together to get that maximum grip that you need. Now talking about grip, making sure that you have enough grip in your legs. So if you have any material interfering with your legs, make sure you tuck it all the way up. The only grip point that you need for this one is, is if you're trying it from a spinning climb, you obviously need your inner part of your knee, the front of your shin, and also the bridge of your foot. However, if you are only doing the side climb, then that means you only need the bridge of your foot and also the back of your ankle here because we use the back of our ankle to push into our leg and also our legs here. So if you need any sort of um, grip and also your hand grip, make sure that you use um, a, some sort of drying agent for your hands if you have any oily skin or sweaty skin, sweaty palms, and making sure that you have something a bit more uh, dewy or moist I know some people don't like that word, but something a bit more moisturizing for your legs or your hands if you have dry skin. I have all the products that I personally use. I have dry skin on my legs or my body and I have really sweaty palms. So those, if that suits you or that's something that might suit you, then the products are in my description. I'm not sponsored for any of the products, but it's just for your own benefit. Now, you might have to do a bit of research for grip, whatever works for you. So do a bit of research and then that might help you a bit more gripping onto the pole. Now, let's talk about our climb. Now, when you're doing our side climb, if you want to stay on the spot or especially if you're just doing sort of like one turn or one, I should say like not a climb necessarily, just holding that spin, then you just wanna bend your knee and then extend all the way out. So making sure that you start off with bending your knee first and then sliding your ankle, thrusting your hip and extending into a side climb. However, if you do want to climb one or if you wanna elevate yourself up the pole, then that means once you bend your knee, rather than sliding your ankle, you want to make sure that you squeeze into that ankle and glue your ankle exactly where it is and then pull your body up rather than sliding your leg down. Because if you slide your leg down, then you're gonna stay in that exact same height. But if you wanna climb up, making sure that you glue your ankle where you placed it and then hoisting, not really hoisting, well, you wanna use your arm to pull yourself up. So there is your next tip. Now, other thing is making sure that you are conscious of your head movement. So when I mean by head movement, rather than staying in your side climb as such, I mean, this looks okay, but you wanna look over towards the side of your shoulder. So looking over your outside shoulder to the floor, or you can also alternatively look up towards the top of the pole and that's going to elevate your movement. It also just looks nicer, doesn't it? So just looking over the shoulder or look up towards the top of the pole to elevate your spin. Now, next thing I wanna talk about is hand movement. This is a very common one, especially because with your side climb, once you come into your side climb, you just don't know what to do with your hand. You either your hand just looks um, you know, very rigid or your hand's just doing all these weird things because when you're thinking about other things, then you don't, you're not as conscious about your hand movement. So in terms of your hand movement, if you feel a bit awkward and you don't know what to do or ultimately if your hands are just not listening to you whatsoever, you can just keep your hand on your waist and that looks quite nice. Now, if you don't like that, and if you wanna be conscious of your hand movement, then if you can keep moving your hand, maybe just draw up your body, over your head, bringing it out. As long as you're moving it, your hand placement or your hand movement will look quite nice. So, being conscious of your hand movement. Now, if you want to elevate your fingertips, then making sure that you use your whole entire, not just your hand, but your shoulder. So when you're reaching out, 
Remember that your hand is an extension from your shoulder, so you can bring your shoulder in, open your chest up as well, and out, being gentle with your elbows, your wrist. Think about almost um, a lopsided ear, sort of like fox. So creating that fox with your fingers, reaching it in and out, and that's really gonna elevate your movement. Now let's talk about our half a bracket grip. This is a really common one that I see that isn't executed properly. If you are pulling with both of your arms, there is no way that you can turn your chest away from the pole. So you always wanna be conscious of pulling in your top arm and pushing away with your bottom arm. Now once, as long as you can push away with your bottom arm, you are able to turn your chest away from the pole and then you'll get all that maximum grip that you need coming into your side climb. So say for example, if my hand is here and my outside hand is right in front of my armpit, then I end up sort of turning really close to the pole and then there's no way that you can push away with your outside hand. So make sure that you slide your outside hand all the way down so that you can push off and create that beautiful shape as well. Now, in terms of your spinning climb entry, or I should say when you want to try your forearm grip entry, then I would highly recommend you to watch my spinning climb tutorial or static climb. They work either or. You just always want to make sure that you have your hand placement in the right position so that you are able to swap um, sort of smoothly. Now, if your forearm grip uh, is not in the right position, then what happens is once you climb up, you, you're gonna end up having to sort of uh, reshuffle your hand and that makes it less of a seamless uh, experience or transition. So if you really wanna hone in your seamless transitions and not having to swap your hand once you climb up, then again, I highly recommend you to watch that video and then come back to this so that you can really work on your side climb and your speeding climb nicely as well. Alrighty, before I let you go, a little mindset tip for you today. Remember that when you are learning something new, it always takes time and patience. Now, commonly when I am teaching, especially a beginner level of pole dancers, people tend to always rush in the journey, feeling like they have to get something straight away or having to learn a new trick and then get it on the spot. Now, this is quite rare, to be honest with you, and especially for those that are doing this in their own comfort of their own home, you might not be able to gauge if you're getting something or if you're having to learn something right on the spot or if a trick takes a bit of time to get. Now, especially tricks like this where we're learning our side climb, it does take a few sessions. So if you're not getting this one straight away, please don't feel discouraged because the side climb or even the spinning climb, it is a very, very hard trick. And some people might even take a few weeks, a few months, and that is totally, totally normal. Pole dancing is very, very hard. And if you are getting this far into the trick tutorial, you are doing an amazing, amazing job. So make sure that you are patient with yourself, take your time. If you need any sort of guidance or if you have any questions, say for example, oh, I'm not too sure if I'm doing this right or anything like that, then please make sure you reach out to me and hopefully I can help you guide through your pole journey as well. Thank you so much for joining me in the side climb tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you in the very next tutorial. Bye. This is the, wait, what tutorial was it again? Side climb. Hey Han. <clears throat> hey Han, I'm Cla <clears throat> Jeez.